evening. All told, seven former executives at eBay have pled guilty in this case. Three have been sentenced to prison so far, including the two here today. But the couple wants more people charged further up the corporate ladder. David and Ina Steiner got handshakes from supporters after attending the sentencing hearings for two more former eBay executives who, as they told the judge, had made their lives, quote, a living hell. It was corporate terrorism. We, we were terrified. Do you accept any responsibility for what you did? David Harville and Jim Baugh did not comment to us, but in court they told the Steiners they are sorry for their roles in harassing and frightening the couple. Any one of you who, in the media, in the press, this could have happened to you. The Steiners operate a blog that's often critical of eBay. Three years ago, company executives set out to, quote, take them down by anonymously sending the Steiners items such as a bloody pig mask, live spiders, and a funeral wreath, and by stalking them at their home in Natick. Baugh, the former head of security at eBay, who prosecutors say masterminded the plan, was sentenced to four years, nine months in prison. Harville, who spied on the couple and tried to break into their garage to install a GPS tracker on their car, got two years behind bars. We think it goes much further, and we think the evidence will be there um, to suggest that it, it, it is a conspiracy that goes that, that comes from the top down. The Steiners have also filed a civil lawsuit against the convicted executives, but also against eBay itself and its former CEO, because they say their lives have forever been changed. The fear never goes away. Now that former CEO, Devin Wenig, he left the company three months after the cyberstalking campaign began, but he's not charged. He's denied all wrongdoing in this case. His lawyers say his takedown comment about the Steiners was never intended to lead to anything like what happened. Live in Boston, David Beanick, WCBB News Center.